opportunity to explore the quiet strength and building a secure financial foundation. Ruled by Venus, the planet of love and money, they possess a keen eye for investment opportunities and are adept at managing their resources wisely. Number two, Leo. Ruled by the sun, Leo radiate confidence and ambition, making them natural leaders in the business world. Leos thrive in positions of authority and are adept at turning their creative visions into profitable ventures. Before we reveal the best money makers in the entire zodiac sign, save this video before it disappears and let me know your sign in the comments. Now taking the top spot as the best money makers, we have Capricorn. What magical superpower lies within you based on your zodiac sign? From lightning speed to mind reading, each sign holds a unique power waiting to be unveiled. Aries, the Ram. Aries, your superpower is lightning speed. You the environment. Gemini, the twins. Gemini, your superpower is mind reading. Your deep connection with your own mind and that of others enables you to effortlessly discern thoughts and intentions, often with just a glance into someone's eyes. Cancer, the crab. Cancer, your superpower is healing. Your innate sensitivity and empathy make you an exceptional caregiver, evident in the numerous cancers dedicating themselves to the noble work in the medical field. Leo, the lion. Leo, your superpower is superhuman strength. As the king of the jungle, an immense power resides within you, enabling your body to surpass its limits and rise to extraordinary heights when fueled by your passion. Be facts about the zodiac sign. Sagittarius, it's said that they don't feel emotions. Capricorn, many are very pessimistic. Aquarius, loves fire. Pisces, often manipulated. Of course we still stalk our ex 10 years later. And our ex best friend. And our ex everyone. I wish them nothing but the worst. Don't you mean the best? No. I'm a water sign. Of course I'm gonna post a passive aggressive story about you and then say not everything is about you. When you ask if it's about you. I'm a water sign. Of course I'm not as sensitive as people think I am. Are you mad at me? Do you hate me? You never wanna speak to me again? I'm a water sign. Of course I need just time bit of toxic in my relationships, but you wouldn't understand. Only us water signs do. I'm a water sign. Of course, I'm gonna ask who is texting you. I'm a water sign. Of course I don't have a problem with you going out. Be my guest. Go on. I'm a water sign. Of course I'm delusional. Why else would I be with a toxic, mentally ill, broke loser like you? I'm a water sign. Of course you're never allowed to leave my dungeon. I mean, sight. I expect to trap you. I mean, see you at all times. I'm a water sign. Of course I'm going to be checking your location every five minutes. And why are you at the parking lot for so long? I'm a water sign. Of course I always find out through my dreams. <gasps> Is there anything you want to tell me about yesterday night? I'm a water sign. Of course I know about everything you did. I'm just going to act dumb to hear all of your lies. Then I'm going to decide what level of psycho I'm going to be. I'm a water sign. Of course I'm going to mirror your energy. You want to be toxic? Perfect. I'll be even more toxic. I'm a water sign. Of course I would never do anything to harm you. I don't believe in revenge. You'll meet your soulmate, according to astrology, part one. Number one, Aries, two five years old. Aries meets their soulmate around the age of 25, a time when they're still maturing and trying to figure themselves out. This is also a crucial time for their soulmate to see them exactly as they are. Aries never hides their true self from anyone, but chances are pretty good that being with them in their natural habitat will help anyone get to know them better. Number two, Capricorn, early 30s. Capricorn has a lot of reservations about soulmates in general. Even if you just mention soulmates in a conversation, they will probably roll their eyes at you. They often gravitate towards realistic, mature relationships, and soulmates just sound childish to them. Capricorn will most likely meet their soulmate when they are in their early 30s. This is a time when they are learning to accept and expect surprises in life. Number three, Virgo. Maybe never. Virgo hears about soulmates from people who have found theirs but has always had a hard time envisioning themselves finding their own soulmate. Even if Virgo never finds their romantic soulmate, they will always have friends who feel like soulmates. They are the exception to the rule. You don't have to be in love to have a soulmate. If you also want to know at what age you might meet your soulmate, leave your zodiac sign in the comments and stay tuned for part two. about the zodiac signs. Aries is obsessed with death. Taurus is a stalker. Gemini 
is a liar. Cancer is often very suspicious and paranoid. What is your ideal lifestyle according to your zodiac sign? We've got the inside scoop. Aries, embrace an active life. Constantly in motion, Aries thrives in an active lifestyle. Living in the here and now, Taurus, seek comfort and security. Taurus yearns for a comfortable and secure life, prioritizing serenity and financial stability. Cancer, embrace a fulfilling family life. Cancer finds joy in simplicity, stability, and a fulfilling family life as their guiding principles. Capricorn, pursue a fulfilling professional life. Capricorn invests themselves in multiple pursuits, relying on tenacity and patience to achieve professional success. Aquarius, embrace freedom and adventure. Aquarius seeks a life of freedom, escape, travel, and thrilling adventures, prioritizing a sense of liberty at every moment. Libra, cultivate a lively social life. For Libra, a vibrant social life and the expression of creativity are paramount, seeking love and opportunities for artistic expression. Leo, bask in the spotlight. Leo thrives in a life filled with light and attention, refusing to live in the shadows and yearning to be in the spotlight. Div Zodiac Signs Number 4. Scorpios The Scorcher Scorpios are known for their intensity and passion. While their loyalty is admirable, cross them, and you might awaken their vindictive nature. Scorpios are like a scorpion. They'll sting if they feel threatened or wronged. It's wise to tread carefully when dealing with Scorpios as they don't forget easily. New Member 3. Aries The Fire Starter Aries Aries are often considered bold and dynamic. However, their assertiveness can turn into vengeance when provoked. Aries individuals can be impulsive, making them prone to acts of revenge in the heat of the moment. Handle with care an offended Aries might just set your world on fire. Number 2. Leo, the Proud Avenger Leos are known for their pride and confidence. While they are generally warm-hearted, hurt their ego, and you'll witness their vindictive side. Leos don't take kindly to slights, and their need for admiration can fuel revengeful behavior. Number 1. Cancer. The Emotional Retaliator. Cancer is ruled by the emotional moon. Their sensitive nature makes them prone to deep-seated grudges. While they may not express their anger outright, cancers have a knack for subtle retaliation. Be mindful not to hurt a cancer emotionally, as their retribution may be slow but profound. Facts about the zodiac signs. Leo. Smiles inside when others are down on their luck. Virgo. Have many negative or scary thoughts. Libra, never forgets and wants revenge. Scorpio, is fascinated in crime.